Hello, the topic for today's session is find me a job. This is a very popular question asked on the forum and on the internet, so I th thought why not just be a title for this video. So I am Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com and I am going to talk about different methods available to find a job. So when you're looking for a job, you have to make one of the two very broad choices. One you continue finding a job based on your current skill set or you choose to change your career and the skill set into some other field and then look for a job in that field. In this video I'm going to focus on different methods available to find a job based on your current skill set and in other videos I'll talk about how to go about changing your career if that is what you decide. I'm going to list different methods available for finding a job and I'm going to list them in the order of their effectiveness. So this is the effectiveness as per different research companies. I haven't done my own research on this but I have gathered some data and this is uh, what the researchers are saying as per the effectiveness. And some of these methods are commonly used and some of them are not very commonly used. First we'll talk about the most commonly used method. You post your resume on one of the internet based job boards and this is a topic for a separate video what job boards are available but the method is you post your resume and then you wait for the employer or the recruiting firm to get back to you. Some of the postings are from the employers directly and the rest are from the recruiting firms. You can also mail out your resumes directly to the employers that you want to work with and this was a very commonly used method before the internet job boards became popular and this method is, is still used and it is still very effective. You should not rule out looking into the trade journals or professional journals if they exist in your field and they do have advertisements for the openings and you can respond to those advertisements by sending your resumes and cover letters and this method is also very effective. You should also not rule out looking into the local newspaper for job advertisements. This method differs in terms of effectiveness from one culture or country to the other. In some countries this method is very heavily used while in other countries uh, most job postings are going on the internet but you should not rule out this method and it can bring you success as well. You can go and visit the offices of private agencies, employment agencies or recruiting firms and uh, they can work with you, they will discuss your skill set, they will give you some suggestions because they will make money if you get hired so uh, it's in their interest to work with you even though if they haven't really advertised any positions you can still go to their office and see if they can help you. You can look into yellow pages to find out which recruiting firms are in your area. Again it depends on your field but you can take advantage of hiring halls or job fairs and employers do come uh, to the job fairs with, uh, with job vacancies and career opportunities and you can go there with your resume and cover letter and see if there is anything in, uh, that interests you there and it does carry a very good success rate. There are situations when nothing is working and you are really desperate you should also consider contacting your ex-professors and teachers and they are in touch with the industry and usually they have good contacts too and they know what's going on they can give you very good job leads that could work out for you. So in almost all developed countries there are numerous private recruiting firms and there is one public recruiting firm. You can always go to the government employment office and discuss your situation with them and they do have inside job positions that are not available to the rest of the recruiting firms and they can solve your problem. Even they could suggest some career change or a skill set upgrade to you but even if that you don't want to consider that based on your current skill set you may hit some uh, good opportunities by going into the government employment office. Keep in mind that first some employers try to find a new employee 
directly through their existing employees. They try to fill, fill in the position by not going to public because if they involve recruiting firms then they have to pay to the recruiting firm and they have to pay a very hefty price about 30 percent of the first year salary and they try to save the money by going directly to their existing employees and asking them if they know anybody and obviously they pay very small fees to the employees like about five hundred dollars or so if they are able to find somebody for the employer so therefore the point is that never rule out contacting your friends and other people you know even your ex coworkers to uh, let them know that you're looking for something and they may have some uh, position in their company and uh, you can take advantage of that. For some fields this method is, is still very effective. You simply go to the employer's office, factory office or, or the uh, company's office or maybe the retail store, knock at the door and see if they have any position available and this works out actually pretty good for, uh, for the jobs related to the sales. Again this method was very popular few years back when internet job boards were not there but you can still consider it uh, something may work out so what you do is you open up the yellow pages and look for the employers that have usually have jobs in your area and you start calling them and see if they have any position that they have not yet advertised uh, to the job boards experts say that you should always incorporate more than one method when you're looking for a job and especially when you enter into a desperate situation when you're looking for a job since weeks and nothing is working and they also say that effective number is up to four or five if you go more than these number of different methods then you are unable to do justice to any of the methods and you start cutting corners and effectiveness starts going down so see if you can incorporate more than one method in your strategy to maximize your chances of getting hired.